Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy like me. As usual, I will take you on a tour of the numerous bizarre pics that have been purposefully disseminated across the world. Okay, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In this photo shoot for Flaunt magazine, Sarah Hyland appears completely out of it and surrounded with dolls. In MK terms, she appears dissociated and surrounded with alter personas. This doll creepily looks like her, but with buttons instead of eyes like in the movie Coraline, which was about mind control. She's playing with dolls, but she doesn't seem to be having fun at all. Something's not right, probably because this is all about mind control. This fashion shoot entitled The Wrong Turn by photographer Rod Shetty accomplishes something the fashion industry loves to do. Glorifying abuse and making it fashionable. These pictures were clearly inspired by the 2012 gang that took place in a bus in New Delhi. The assault led to the death of the victim. Here's a great idea. Let's dress up some models really nice and let's recreate this horrendous crime. This shoot is meant to sell clothes, but it mostly sells the normalization of abuse. OMG, look at the dress of that girl that's being violated on a bus floor, wanted. Yeah, I love the fashion world. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. According to this magazine cover, Tyrant Banks is a boss. However, according to that thing over one of her eyes, she's just another employee of the occult elite. Nothing says boss like restraining headgear that covers your mouth and one eye. Basically, every one of her pics features a one-eyed thing. In this one, she also looks like an overly photoshopped android that's having technical troubles with its arms. One of editions of Ebony released four covers dedicated to the top four black entertainers. Coincidentally, they're pretty much the top four black occult elite pawns, Kanye West, Jay-Z, Bain C, and Rihanna. To make things even more blatant, Kanye hides one eye. Apparently, Rihanna is the rebel. There's nothing more rebel than doing exactly what you are told by your handlers for most of your life. In this case, she was told to stand still while her hair hides one eye. Here's Pharrell Williams in W Magazine with one eye hidden by a screw thing. I guess they're running out of ways to hide one eye. Another magazine cover, another one-eyed salute. Remember that all of these magazine covers were released not too long ago. This is Brazilian actress Maria Casadeville on the cover of Top Magazine. This is Spanish actress Blanca Suarez, letting you know why she's so popular in Spain. This is Katy Perry in Cosmopolitan magazine. As the page says, celebrate your independence by displaying your dependence to the occult elite. Here's Katy Perry in front of the Harvard Lampoon Castle. Built by high-level Illuminatus William Randolph Hearst, the castle houses the Lampoons, which is said to be related to Yale's secret society skull and bones. Perry was initiated and hazed into the Lampoons. She wrote as a caption to this picture, I was never the same. She then posed with a Lampoon medallion over one eye. Pop stars are all about secret societies and their symbolism. Katy Perry also recently appeared in V Magazine with Madonna, and they're doing MKX Kitten stuff. Here's Katy looking completely dissociated, with Madonna tied up, and probably telling herself that she's getting too old for this. Katy's boot hiding one of Madonna's eye, while she's wearing an animal print glove. That's 100% beta kitten programming for you. Another face of the beta kitten system is Lana Del Rey. Here she is on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine with a cat hiding one of her eyes, an apt way of referencing kitten programming. In a complex magazine article, Lana stated, You know, I have slept with a lot of guys in the industry, but none of them helped me get my record deals. 
which is annoying. Spoken like a true sex kitten. Speaking of one eye thing, the cover art of Young Jeezy's album is all about it. The title scene at all pretty much describes what the one eye thing does. Around the eye are a bunch of secret society related symbols, such as the arm and hammer. Speaking of pyramid and one eye thing, here's a screenshot from the Simpsons and Family Guy crossover episode. City signs in the US sometimes indicate the presence of local lodges, but, in this case, it seems to be an occult elite lodge. Still, speaking of Pyramid and One Eye Thing, Neely Cyrus's Banjers tour was broadcast at primetime hour on NBC. At one point, a giant occult elite pyramid appears from nowhere. The presence of occult elite symbolism is truly everywhere. Still speaking of Pyramid and One Eye Thing, Tony Hawk's new line of clothing is all about occult elite symbolism. Is it normal that most stars are associated with a single symbol? This design features Anubis the god of death with the pyramid underneath it. I remember when skater fashion was different from other fashion. Now, all fashion styles are turning into occult elite uniforms. The one-eyed salute is seen in all fields that might interest young people. This is skateboarder Nigel Huston's official picture. He's doing a straight-up one-eye thing. Adam Levine is the singer of Maroon 5, the group that takes up about 65% of all radio airtime. He released a clothing line, and, to promote its back-to-school collection, this ad was released. As you can see, it is all about one-eye occult elite signs. You too can be as hip as Adam Levine, head to the nearest Kmart, and buy these awful clothes. Model Yaya Deng is a finalist of the Australian reality show, The Face. She is now the face of the occult elite industry with a one-eyed salute. Wait, maybe it's a coincidence. I sometimes hold my slippers this way, it's pretty cool and comfortable. Nope, not a coincidence. Occult pawn. Kitten programming uniform. FKA Twigs is an up-and-coming singer who is already doing the one-eye salute to industry giants. Wait, maybe it's a coincidence. Nope, not a coincidence. Up-and-coming occult elite pawn. Of course, Rita Ora must also do the one-eye sign. Selena Gomez as well. Dakota Fanning was a child star who appeared in several MK-themed movies. Now that she's grown, she keeps eluding those who own her with a one-eyed salute in town and country magazine. But it is easy to be desensitized to those pictures and think yawn, just another one-eye picture, boring, we must realize the implication of every single one of these pictures. They are proof that the entire industry is ruled by a single entity, and that it is flaunting its power through all of these stars. The movie Walk of Shame is about a young woman wanting to become a big-time news anchor. On the movie poster, the hidden eye tells you what it truly needed to be a big-time TV personality. This is Daniel Radcliffe, who has legions of young fans due to his role as Harry Potter. This poster features one eye, devil horns, and an inverted cross, saying, he will bring out the devil in you. That is pretty much what the movie industry is about. This Ninja Turtles poster disturbed some people. The release date on the poster is September 11. I can't say much more, this is too much. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.